A very warm welcome to PCE Instruments, your manufacturer of test and measuring instruments for industry, trade and research. PCE, professional calibrated equipment. So I have the PCE MFM 2400 here. I've had a look at it. This is what it looks like. Handy and looks good in your hand. It has a large display. You can turn on the backlighting. That makes a difference. That is also interesting. It's a magnetic field measuring device. That means I can measure magnetic fields. That is not only them that are produced from magnets. These magnet, magnetic waves, what we know of, what you may know from school, but on many electrical or electronic devices, a printer for example. It has the craft joints to connect the fluid connection for the motor and another piece that has to be driven, the Wallström and so forth. And it is switched from the operating system. Sometimes they don't switch and you don't know why. And then this magnetic field you can measure, you can measure relays or similar things measure, there are relays that have maybe got stuck like some people too and these magnetic fields are there but it doesn't switch and such things you can measure with such a device I'll show you what we can do with this here the probe is connected I have to open the probe so and here we have something very special here at the front on the tip there is a hall generator. It is written hall. It is named after its inventor. And this hall generator is a semiconductor, which in a magnetic field, its characteristics, its electrical characteristics changes. And you can measure this. That is the principle. This device is av available in two different versions. For one is the transverse version, that is this one and one with the axial version aligned. I can push it against something and measure the axial direction. Now look here, I have a small magnetic cube and when we get that together onto one picture, so I'll go closer to this magnet and you can see the magnetic field goes up. And now an N is displayed. The pole of the magnetic is simultaneously dictated. I'll turn the probe around and now S is there, like north and south, or plus and minus, whatever. So you can see a magnet saw. If I come from the side, it doesn't work. I need a different probe for this. Here I get any sort of values, which are stray values. So magnetic field measuring device. So, and to protect it, we put the cover back on and it measures in the areas of 24 Gauss, up to 24 Gauss. An old inventor, a Swiss inventor, naturally, he had the research magnetic fields and so normally his name is written with SZ, but for international reasons with double S. Today we calculate with a SE formal. It was determined in 61, I think, as Tesla. It has nothing to do with the cars, but Tesla was a great scientist. And this magnetic flux density was named after him. You can convert this, but there are different, but it is important that there are different size systems. That means I can say 24 Gauss are 2.4 miller Tesla. I can't say it is equal because there are different size systems. Maybe a daft ex example. Men and women's clothes, you can't say the clothes size 45 for a man when it exists is the same as that for a woman. There are different size systems. 
One is Gauss, the other is Tesla. But you can switch the device over depending on which area I am working in. I can work in Gauss or Tesla, in Miller Gauss or Micro Tesla. A device which in a technique in many areas comes to use, where you can look is a magnet magnetic there or not? Is it strong enough? Is my device working or not? Or do I have to search for the fault somewhere else? A handy nice device is powered with a 9 volt battery, the MFN2400 from PC Instruments. Discover and order the latest measuring and test equipment now on www.pce-instruments.com